one gets to meet some very interesting characters in the magic community and one magician of interest what goes by the name of Two Shuffles Harry. Now as you can imagine Two Shuffles Harry gets his nickname because he was never satisfied with just shuffling the deck once as I've just done. He would have to then pick up the deck and shuffle it for a second time. Probably more to just amuse himself. But um, if Two Shuffles Harry was to cut the cards, he wasn't um, happy with cutting it just once. He would have to then finish off by giving the, uh, the cards a second cut. Now interestingly enough, Two Shuffles Harry, if he was about to do a card trick, he would never have a single card selected. He would always like to have two people involved and have them look at two separate cards. And in this case, what Two Shuffles would do would cut the deck and then, then have you fairly remember a card from the middle. And because he liked to do things twice, he'd finish by cutting the deck a second time. And also on the other side, again, he'd begin by cutting the pack. He'd have you remember a card. And then once again, for a second time, two shuffles, Harry would cut the pack for a second time. So let's see if we can mix these cards up in an unusual way. We'll turn half the deck face up and leave one half face down. And let's mix them up this way so you can see we've got some face up, some face down. And Two Shuffles Harry being Two Shuffles Harry was never satisfied with doing that just once. So he would then do the thing for a second time. In other words, he would take the shuffled up deck and mix them so that we can clearly see face up and face down cards. And let's finish by giving one side a cut, the other side of cuts. And of course we do it for the second time. Now then, although these cards are shuffled face up and face down with two cards which you're remembering somewhere in the deck, I'll find them both at the same time and I'll also try and sort the jumbled up mess that the cards are in by clicking my fingers not once but twice. I spread these cards, you can see in the middle there is the King of Hearts and if I spread these cards, in the middle there is the King of Clubs. Now. If that wasn't enough, Two Shuffles Harry was never satisfied. He always had to go two stages further. So although this is a red king, you can see, unbelievably, it's, it just happened to be the only um, red card in an otherwise black half of the deck. And I don't know if you can notice, but every single card also is in perfect suit order, just like they when they're brand new out of the box. And for the second side, Two Shuffles Harry put the uh, Black King and the Black King being the only black card in amongst everything that was in the red half of the deck and once again you can see those cards are in perfect brand new as if straight from the factory order so I guess if we just put this King back um, over this side where it should be next to the Queen and we put this King back on the black side next to the Queen I can leave you to ponder the mystery of Two Shuffles Harry.